Hello and welcome to this Sophistic tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create simple families for SPIM, our Sophistic bridge and infrastructure modeler. So which families does SPIM actually use? We use families that are created with the template Metric Generic Model Adaptive. These families are then placed along an axis that we can create using SPIM, which looks like this. As you can see, we have also some placements along this axis and then we place the family along this axis. How does that work in detail? Because the families from SPIM are actually 2D families and now we have a 3D family right here. So the 2D family is actually placed along our axis at a certain increment and then interpolated between those increments. As you can see, we can uh, add some parametrization there. But for now, I want to show you how to create a family that uses no parametrization. I will do this by just jumping into Revit right here. And I will create a new project using just a standard template uh, provided by Revit. And let's swap these. The first thing that we will do is take a look at our Sophistic Bridge tab right here. As you can see, we start on the left and we go to the right. And the first step is to create an axis. For this, we have a multitude of options, but I will simply create a new axis with manual input. It gives us options for horizontal information, vertical information, and also placements, those points of interest along the axis. I will create the preset axis right here and now go to 3D because it is actually easier to understand what's going on with the axis in 3D. So the families that I want to show you how to create are actually superstructure families. As you can see, we also uh, allow you to create other placement methods for families, but they all use the same principle. To create a family using the Sophistic Bridge Modeler, we use the superstructure command. Now we have to select an axis and right now it is loading in the temporary families. As you can see, we have a drop down window here, which gives me a multitude of families bridge for bridges that are already provided by Sophistic. And the question is, how do you get your own family into here? That is rather simple. All families that uh, fit the requirements for Sophistic Bridge Modeler, we will talk about that later on, are automatically uh, previewed in here. So if you create a family and you load it into your project and it fits the requirements for Sophistic Bridge Modeler, it will actually show up in here. You can see here in the parameter tab that we have a multitude of variables that we can adjust to basically control our structure. It allows us to move every single point right here that is displayed and previewed right in this little window over here. But we actually want to create a new family. So we will go to file, click on new and click on family. And now, as you can see, I can select the template. I will go to English. And as mentioned before, I will use metric generic model adaptive. Now this new window pops up. Creating families for the Sophistic Bridge Modeler, we always want to work from the left. And the most important thing for you is to understand how work planes work in the family creation. As you can see, I have a work plane right here. I have one right here and another one right here. The first point that we will create is a host point for the family. So I click on point element here and I create it. This one doesn't matter in which uh, reference plane it's created because what we will do is we'll set it to show its reference planes always. We'll set the point to a placement point adaptive and it will orient as a host. This is important. Now we will use the align command. We'll use that one a lot, by the way. So I will align my point to this work plane and I will also 
align it to this work plane. You see those locks here? We will never use them. So now this point is actually the reference to our axis. So the whole family will be placed along the axis always with an origin to this point, which means if I set, by the way, here you can click on show so you see which work plane you're working in right now. We can click on set and I will set it to this work plane for easier use because now all my points are created on this work plane. Because for now, the family that I want to create doesn't actually have to have a lot of parametrization. So what I will do is I will just create something kind of random. Let's see, let's create four points like this. Let's create another one here. And let's uh, make the whole thing hollow as well. So I just create some random points here. And what I'll do now, I will connect them with lines in the way that I want them to line up. So just for simple families like this one that actually don't have any automation or parametrization going on in the background, you don't actually need those points. A closed set of lines would also do the trick. The important thing is to have them on the right work plane though. So as you can see right now, I have a 2D family that is created on this work plane and consists simply of lines that are connected to each other. As mentioned before, the points are actually not necessary. If I load this into the project right now, you can see ah, I have family three, I have it selected right now. I press escape because I don't need it actually. And I can create a new superstructure and let's see if we can select our axis and find this family that we just created. And actually it's the preset right now. There are no parameters because there's no parametrization. We have this random shape and we could give it some information right here. For example, uh, between which placements it's going to be placed, which material it is, subcategory and so on. I just click on okay. And what the bridge modeler is doing right now is interpolating um, actually placing the family along the axis and interpolating between them. So as you can see, this family is created and placed along my axis. So if you have simple cross sections that don't require any parametrization, then this is a very fast way to create them. So where can you actually adjust your properties? For example, the increment in which the family is going to be placed. Just click here on create settings, accuracy. And as you can see, component minimum interpolation distance is an absolute value of 500 right now. If you set it to 5000, it would be all every five meters. By the way, I mentioned temporary families before. With those, I meant families that are only loaded into the project if you actually use them. These are loaded from the folders you can see right here, but you can set them to any folder that you actually want. As you can see, this is the folder that my uh, Sophistic families are placed in right now. We suggest if you create your own families to set another folder somewhere else and copy the families that we have preset in here into this other folder because with a new update we will actually clean this folder and uh, your manually created families will not be there anymore. This is everything you have to know about creating simple families in the Sophistic Bridge Modeler and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions feel free to send us an email via info at sophistic.de. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.